Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again. If it's your first time finding my tiny little corner of the YouTubes, then do please consider clicking the red button and subscribing if you enjoy what I do. Two packages just in from 88 Films, uh, two of their big releases for this month. I'm going to split these into two different videos so you don't have to kind of watch a long video if you're just interested one, in one title. But I'll show you quickly what's inside the packages and you can decide and take it from there. So first up is Johnny Max. First two parts of the Long Arm of the Law series, parts one and two. Glorious cover art by Sean Longmore there in a limited edition box set. No book from what I can see, but we'll get into that in a second. And inside the other, much thinner little package here, is the Jet Li movie, uh, Last Hero in China. Um, another Wong Fei Hong movie, though perhaps maybe a slightly less well-regarded one than the others. So yeah, I'll do two separate videos for each one will start with Long Arm of the Law. If you're just interested in the Jet Li title, then take a look in the other videos down below because I'll upload that as soon as I've uploaded this. So, getting into this little box first. Like I say, nice cover art by Sean Longmore in the front. This is Region A and Region B. So it's going to be sold in the US as well as the UK. And these rigid slips generally sell through quite quickly. I'm sure they'll probably do a re-release somewhere down the line and from what i've heard if this box set sells well then we might well see more parts of the series coming i have not seen these movies in the longest time i think since back in the vhs days and i don't actually think i've seen every installment i'm a bit hazy on what i have seen definitely seen the first part uh, but i can't remember if i've seen two or if i jumped to three but we have our j card in the back uh, letting us know that we've got some special features on here. So I think a series of interviews, getting an interview with Michael Mack. Uh, we're getting an interview with the scriptwriter Philip Chan, the conversation with action director Billy Chan and scriptwriter Philip Chan, an interview with the man himself, Johnny Mack. And I think it's co-produced by Samuel Hung, so Samuel was doing quite a lot of the action. Pretty gritty, quite realistic, very grounded kind of movies, uh, quite harsh from what I remember. Uh, back in the day, like I say, it's been a long time since I've checked them out. So I'm sure that Samuel Hung did the action for the first one. The second one, Action Directions by uh, Chen Yuet Sang. But in both cases, I think both written by Philip Chan and both directed by Johnny Mac. So yeah, it's our J card from the back. Inside here, quite a tight squeeze. Nice to see that 88 are sticking with these pretty cool black slimline boxes. Then we get two more slices of Sean's art on the front of each of the cases. Don't think these, in fact, they are reversible. So if you wanted to switch to the original Hong Kong posters you can. I kind of into what Sean's put together for them so I think I'll probably keep with Sean's side and inside here we're getting a little booklet with one of the alternate titles Red Guards in Hong Kong and then writing inside here is by looks like Tom, I can't read his name, Tom Canliffe, sorry Tom if I'm messing up your name along with a load of alternate posters, some screen grabs, some lobby cards. Cool. Would have maybe been nice to see one of the full bound books that they did on some of the, the other fancier sets, but this one was a little bit better priced. I was kind of quite cost effective at the £25 mark, which for two movies is not bad. And it looks like we're also getting a poster. Which Always really nicely printed on this paper stock. And this is kind of giving us the Hong Kong posters for one and two here. So yeah, definitely gonna stick with Sean's artwork on the slip cases. So that's it. That's a long arm of the lot one and two. I'll maybe do a little review video once I've checked these out because it has, like I say, been the longest time since I've been familiar with checking out the franchise. Thank you so, so much for watching this. If you want to check out the unboxing for Last Hero in China, like I say, take a look down below and you will find the link down to that, to the separate video. Thanks for watching. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.